have a really nice workout for you today. We're going to start out with cardio and then we're going to go into the body shaping, strengthening portion of the workout. So let's get started. Okay, the very first exercise we're doing is high knees and this portion of the workout is timed. So as soon as my interval timer beeps, I'm going to get started. So these intervals are actually shorter than the ones we normally do. So check the website for the breakdown. But we're going to do 20 seconds of high knees, 10 seconds of rest, 20 seconds of the next exercise. Make sure you breathe and you keep your knees going up until the timer goes off. Next we have jump squats. So catch your breath and get started. Make sure your weight goes into your heels, your thighs come parallel to the ground, and you're reaching toward the ceiling with each jump. Kind of throw on an extra one. Right, lunge, jump. Okay, next we're gonna go into the right lunge position, and we're gonna just jump straight up and down with your normal, good lunging form. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see. Sure. Next we're going to do the other side. Mountain climber cross. Mountain climber crosses are next. So you're going to do mountain climbers, but drive your knees to opposite elbows. Lunge kick right. Okay, back to lunges. Kicking straight out in front of you, right leg first. So, lunge, kick. Right back into it. Abs should stay pulled in. Form should really be your focus rather than speed. Although you do want to do your max reps that you can during each interval. And if you can't kick that high, don't worry about it. Just go to wherever you can. My balance is a little off today. <laughs> Double mountain climber. Okay. Left, mid, right. Okay, so double mountain climber. We're gonna jump left, back, middle, right, middle, left, middle, right, middle. Side jump, right. Okay. So, one leg. We're going to jump back and forth across an imaginary line. My legs are feeling all this jumping. Okay, now the left leg. If you have a jump rope or something, you could put it down so you have a visual. Keep 
moving the whole time. Really feel your body working. That's the end of the cardio verse. Okay, first exercise of the repetition portion of the workout is sumo push-ups. So, as always, you're gonna follow correct push-up form, which means hands in the same plane as your shoulders, uh, fingers spread below your hands, or below your shoulders. Feet can be a little bit apart or together, just really depends on your preference. For sumo push-ups, I'm gonna keep my feet a little bit apart, abs pull in, back is straight. You're going to push up, elbows bend, chest goes all the way down to the floor. Then I'm going to lift my left hand and go down. That's one. Up and down. Two. Three. Keep your abs in the whole time. Four. Okay, five. next we're going to do side plank on our left. So your hand is going to go directly below your shoulder. You're going to Put all your weight on your right foot for this one because we're going to do leg lifts. If plank is enough for you, then I just want you to stack it and stay in plank for the entire time. Otherwise, I want you to put your weight on your right foot and we're going to do lifts with our left foot. Really challenging our obliques and this muscle right here. So if you don't like this exercise move, just get through it by thinking, love handles be gone the entire time, because that is what this is doing. It's working this entire region really intensely. Okay, next we're gonna do an extended sit up. I'm gonna use a weight, you do not have to. If you're not gonna use the weight, it's gonna look like this. Legs are out, abs pull in, hands can come to your chest. You're going to reach up toward the ceiling. We're not doing this motion where you're going forward. It's an up and down motion. Low back stays pressed into the ground at all times. And then if you're going to use a weight, hold it securely. Same thing, legs go out and you do up and down motion. Next we're going to do get ups. I'm going to use a weight, but again you don't have to. Um, so what we're going to do is bend our right leg. Our left leg bends and goes underneath and we're going to sit up, reaching forward, hands don't touch the ground, come up, drive your left knee up, and then come down. Switch sides. Drive it up. And then if you're using the weight, next to you. And basically the same thing, but you're going to do it. You can use two hands and sit up in front of you, drive your knee up, get down. Again, switch sides. Next we're going to do a triangle twist. So you're going to keep your abs in tight the entire time. Your front heel your front foot is facing straight ahead towards the wall. Your heel should be lined up with the arch of your back foot. Your hips are gonna face forward, arms stretch out to the side, lean to the side, and then bring your hand down. It could go onto your leg or onto the floor, wherever you are, and then we're going to twist it. So bring our left hand down, right hand up. That's one, and then we're gonna go down and twist, keeping your abs in, two. And your back hand may, might not be able to reach this high, it might get here, that's fine. Don't push your body, just go with the flow. You're gonna really strengthen and stretch out your spine doing this. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So again, hips face forward. Arms come out in a straight line, shoulders are relaxed, lean forward, so this side of your body is lengthening. You're going to stretch out until you come down to your um, shin or to the floor. You'll feel a nice stretch right here, and then you're going to switch and reach. And one side might be more flexible than the other, that's okay too. Okay, 
Okay, for our next exercise, we're going back to the side plank. So again, if the side plank is enough for you, this time I want you to go into your forearm and just hold it. If you're okay and you're a little bit more advanced, you're going to go back up into the side plank on the extended arm. This hand's going to reach up above you and then it's going to reach down and through to tap the floor next to you. Come up, drop your hip, bring it up and that's one rep. So through, up, drop, that's two, through, up, drop, that's three, through, up, drop, that same thing on your other side, reach through, up, drop, that's one, through, up, drop, that's two, that's three, through, up, drop, that's four, through, up, that's five. Okay, last exercise. You're going to go onto your hands and knees. Hands should be directly below your shoulders, and we're going to do a double kickback. So we're going to bring our knee into our chest and kick it up with a bent leg, heel, and then straight. That's one. Heel, straight, heel, straight, heel, straight. It's the other side. Heel, straight, heel, straight, heel. Okay everyone, that's today's workout. Go to the website for the workout breakdown, number of reps, and all the information you need, plus recipes and other fun tips.